In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. I won't keep you in suspense. I'll first show you how to set this one up. Then I'll go through some examples of how I use this copy and paste feature to speed up my productivity. For those of you who don't have a Galaxy phone or tablet, no worries, I'll show you another way to do this at the end of this video. Okay, let's get started. This is my Galaxy Note 10 and my Galaxy Tab S6. To set up this new Galaxy copy and paste feature, we have to go to the Advanced Features settings and look for this Continue Apps on Other Device settings and turn it on. Now do this for both the devices. With these settings, we can continue where we left off when we switch to another Galaxy device. This is especially useful when serving the internet, which I'll show you a little later. Our clipboard for copy and pasting will also be shared and synchronized across two devices. Oh, and both of these devices need to be signed in to the same Samsung account in order for this to work. So after we switch on that settings, we can now copy this block of text from my phone and paste it to any application on the tablet. This application on my tablet is the Samsung Notes. Notice the copied text is already on the tablet's clipboard. And of course, if we want to, we can also paste it on other applications like Google Doc as well. We can also copy and paste the other way around from the tablet to the phone. For example, in this scenario, I want to share this USB hub I found on Amazon to my friend on WhatsApp. But my tablet doesn't have WhatsApp application because WhatsApp doesn't run on tablets. So what I can do is I can copy the link by sharing the link to the clipboard on my tablet, go to WhatsApp on my phone, and there we go. We can paste the link onto WhatsApp straight away and then send it. Easy. So what's happening here is that when we copy a text from one device, that text is synchronized via our Samsung account to all our Galaxy devices to allow us to paste on any one of the device. And that synchronization happens quite fast. Let's see that again. I'll copy and paste another text. Look at how fast it pops out on my tablet clipboard. Remember earlier on, I mentioned that the continue app on other device setting works for Samsung internet as well. Here is a quick demo. In this scenario, we are surfing a website using Samsung internet app on the phone. And we want to switch over to the tablet for a larger screen experience. We don't need to do anything on the phone. Just go to the tablet and open up the application switch window. And there it is. Clicking on this icon will open up the same web page where we left off on the phone and we can continue surfing on the tablet. Note that this feature only works for Samsung Internet App and Samsung Note applications only. It doesn't work on any other applications. So it won't work if you use another browser like Chrome or Firefox. This copy and paste and continue app on other device feature only came to my Note 10 and Tab S6 with the recent update. I'm not so sure about other devices, but I believe this should be available for all Galaxy devices running One UI 3.1 or later, like Galaxy S20, S21, S10, and Note 10 and Note 20 series. And it should work for tablets like the latest Tab S7 and Tab S6 as well. However, I'm not so sure about the Tab S4 though. 
Let us know in the comments down below if your phone or tablet have this feature or not. And what is the model of your Galaxy device? Now, for those of you who don't have this Galaxy feature, like if you use a different brand phone or tablet, I recommend using Google Keep to copy and paste because Google Keep's synchronization across devices is the fastest. So what we can do is just copy the text, paste it on a new Google Keep note, go to the other device and find that note to copy and paste to wherever you want. We may need to refresh the Keep application to sync the note down to the tablet. And here it is, for us to copy and paste on the tablet. After that, delete that note. Or leave it if you intend to keep it for a while. That's what Google Keep is for anyway, to keep transient information like this. If you haven't used Google Keep, I highly recommend it. You can download it for free from the Play Store. Hey everyone, if you have followed my channel long enough, you would know that I like to give you the main content early while leaving my channel promotion at the end of the video. On my channel, I share stories of the tech gear I bought for myself and how I use technology to be more productive. If you like tips and tech gear videos like this, remember to subscribe. And like this video, your small gesture liking this video can actually help my channel a lot. Thanks for supporting the work I'm doing. Okay, that's it for this video. Take care and look after yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.